Howdy heartthrobs. Today's video is a nice short one, a simple one, more aimed towards the newbies and the starters, but you never know, some of you might learn something. What I'm going to be doing is teaching you a very quick and simple way to set up camp with just two knots. Actually I only need one, but I'll show you two really simple, easy to tie knots that will set you out in most eventualities. If you want to be a pedant about it, there are actually three knots, but there's two, because one is just a normal knot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a ridge line from there to there, and show you how to tie it off in knots that you can tie with one hand. First things first, I have a bit of paracord. This is what I mean about the other knot that everyone should know. I need a loop in the end of one end of the paracord, actually the other end, so, get it on the bite, fold it, and then just tie a simple thumb knot. There's your loop. Then what you do, with the loop end, wrap around the tree, thread the rest of the paracord through. Pull that tight. Paracord through the other tree and wrap round twice. This is where the other knots come in. I'm going to need the help of my lad to show you how the knots go together. The first knot is a prussic knot and it is simply just a loop. Once again, tied at the end to make a loop. And what you do with this, if you'd like to come in, Harry. Get the top of the loop open, pass the knot through once, the knot through twice, pull tight and smarten up. And what this will do is enable you to move it, but when pressure is applied on it, it locks in tight. Everybody see that? So you've wrapped round there twice. You've got your adjustable prussic loop on there. And now for the second knot. Now, this second knot is known as a Marlin spike hitch. Really, really simple. You can uh, tie it with one hand. I will quickly show you how it's tied. You loop the string over, effectively making a six with the rope passing over the top side. Bring the loop through, grab the trailing edge, and pull tight. There's your Marlin spike hitch. Once more. Bring that over the top so you have a six with the to uh, trailing end of the string going over the top. Fold the loop over, pull the other end through, spike goes through. Now, as I say, it's very, very simple to do one-handed. Simply fold it over, grab the string, pull it through. Fold it over, grab the string, pull it through. So what you do is you get your little toggle that I've just dropped on the floor. After that's nice and tight. You do your Marlin spike hitch, put the toggle through, pull that tight, Bring back your prussic loop. Thread the toggle through the prussic loop and tighten. And as you can see, there is your ridge line nice and taut. Now with the prussic loops, if you have a couple more of them, you know roughly where this is gonna go so you can leave it on there. If you have a couple more on, when you go to attach your tarp, attach the tarp by the same method you can move your tarp wherever you need it to be. Some people like to have the tarp already threaded on. Lovely, jubbly. Similarly, if I was now in a tent situation or a tarp situation and I need to peg out my guidelines, rather than going around readjusting, 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 the majority of the time what I do is I'll get to whatever distance I need. I will tie a marlin spike hitch Use the peg as a spike, pull tight, 
and you're in. That quick. Once again, it can all be done with one hand. Pegs in. Oh, not that time it weren't. Pegs in. Boom, done. Lovely jubbly. Now, just to show you, this isn't only for paracord. Um, when I use my webbing for putting up my hammocks, exactly the same situation. Um, there are many, many, many knots out there and they all serve a purpose. They're all brilliant, but certainly if you're just starting off, they're a nightmare to learn and who wants to get wet? You can tie something like that up quicker than shit from a goose and you're golden. I'm gonna put some webbing straps on and I'm gonna hang my hammock quickly just to show you that it works with the webbing straps. So just to show, a couple of webbing straps. Around like so. And around like so. Pull your hammock out. Marlin spike hitch, carabiner through the hole. As you can see, there is absolutely no problem with that holding my weight. Go around to the other side. Marlin spike hitch, hammock is hung. I know it is completely low. Obviously I'll go a lot higher and I'll use a much bigger tree. But just wanted to show you, it is that quick, that simple, more than capable of taking your weight. Marlin spike hitch, classic loop, bastard knot. Yeah, thumb knot, sorry. If you're ever in a situation where you're lashing and things like that, you cannot beat the thumb knot. Um, obviously there are different knots for joining two bits of cordage of different size together, etc, etc. Learn your knots, they are brilliant. But if you want to get started, you need a ridge line to get your tarp and basher out. You need a way of securing your pegs, a way of securing your basher, your bivy bag, a way to hang your hammock. And it all gets a bit confusing. Lovely job. Loop one end, prussic loop, and the marlin spike hitch. You're golden. One thing I will say, although some people will say you can hang hammocks from um, paracord, you can. It tends to damage the trees, and you never know whether it's going to break or not. The marlin spike hitch will still hold, but always better to use webbing. I'm using these cargo straps at the moment. They've got hooks on the end. Same again. Cut them off. Just tie a knot in the end with a loop. You're golden. And with the prussic loops, it always works best if it is the same size or thinner than the line it is going on. Works a lot better if it's thinner, to be honest. I'm using braid there. Works a treat. Hope you found that helpful. There you go. No excuse not to get out now, have you? Adjustable tarp. Adjustable tarp.